On Thursday, sir. The time is very short. My father Capulet will have it so, and I am nothing slow to slap of me. You say you do not know the lady's mind. Uneven is the course, I like it not. Her father counts it dangerous that she doth give her sorrow so much sway, and in his wisdom haste our marriage. I wish I knew not why it should be slowed. <laughs> Look, sir, here comes the lady to myself. How we met my lady and my wife? That may be, sir, when I may be a wife. What may be must be love on Thursday next. What must be shall be. Come you make confession to this friar? My lord, we must entreat this time alone. God shield I should disturb devotion. Juliet, on Thursday early will I rouse ye. Till then, adieu and keep this holy kiss. <laughs> I hear thou must on Thursday next be married to this county. Tell me not, Friar, that thou hearest to this, unless thou tell me how I may prevent it. If in thy wisdom thou canst give no help, do thou but call my resolution wise, and with this knife I'll help it presently. God, join my heart in Romeo, thou our hand. Give me some present counsel, or behold, twixt my extremes in me, this bloody knife shall play the umpire. I long to die if what thou speakest speak not a remedy! Hold! Hold, daughter! <laughs> I do spy a kind of hope which craves this desperate an execution. If, rather than marry County Paris, thou hast the strength of will to slay thyself, then tis likely thou wilt undertake a thing like death to chide away this present shame. And if so, I'll give thee remedy. Oh, bid me leap rather than marry Paris from off the battlements of yonder tower, or bid me go into a new-made grave and hide me with a dead man in his shroud, and I will do it without fear or doubt. To live an unstained wife to my sweet love. Go home. Be now. Give consent to marry County Paris. Take thou this vial, being then in bed, and this distilled liquor drink thereof. When pleasant presently through all thy veins shall run a cool and drowsy humor, for no pulse shall keep his native progress but surcease. No warmth, no breath shall testify thou livest. The roses in thy lips and cheeks shall fade. And in this borrowed likeness of shrunk death thou shalt continue two and forty hours, and then awake as from a pleasant sleep. Now in the morning when the bridegroom come to rouse thee from thy bed, there art thou dead. Thou shalt be born to that same ancient vault where all the kindreds of the Capulets lie. In the meantime, by my letters shall Romeo know our drift, and hither shall he come, and he and I will watch thy waking, and that very night shall Romeo bear thee hence to Mantua, and all this will chide away thy present shame. If no inconstant toy, nor womanish fear, they thy valor in the acting it. Give me, oh, give me, Tell not me of fear. Be strong in this resolve. Love, give me strength. Farewell, dear friar. 